Okay, so I don't have the Plus with me right now. I have the SE. I'm going to do the experiment with it since it also takes an external hard disk. And I'm going to see if it'll work here. Um, the SE already has a SCSI to SD adapter installed. It's one of these right here. Like I said, it basically just takes an SD card and it emulates a SCSI hard drive so the computer just thinks it's a hard disk. So <clears throat> when you turn on the machine, uh-oh, I don't think I have the, hang on. There we go. So when the SE turns on, <clears throat> this was just a regular SE that had two 800K floppy disks, but see it boots and it boots quickly. Pardon the refresh rate. But with that solid state, you know, I mean, look at that. That's fast. So now I'll turn on the external hard disk, but it's not going to do anything. So I'm not even going to tape it. If I'm going to take this, <clears throat> this enclosure apart, pull out the old hard disk, and then instead install this right here and see if this machine will recognize it. There it is, the dead SCSI hard drive from, oh, I guess, sometime in the 1980s. All right, so now I just need to interface it with this, and we'll be good, hopefully. Okay, for now, I'm just going to leave this hanging out here where it's safe. <clears throat> and won't be shorting anything. Put the power back on to everything and turn it on and see if the SE will recognize it. Okay, everything's connected. Let's do a smoke test. That's running there. Okay, let's go turn on the computer and see what happens. Wait a minute, this isn't a TI-99 4A. We don't need this. Okay, it looks like it's trying to look to the SCSI to SD adapter before it looks for its own SCSI to SD adapter internal. So let me shut it off. I don't know. I got. I'll probably have to go in and select a boot device if that's even how it works on these older ones. Anyway, let me turn it off and reboot and see what's going on. All right, now let's go turn on the external disk and see if it works. I might have to run disk in it or something. All right, let's see what this does when I turn the external enclosure on. All right, let's have it rescan the SCSI bus. Well, shoot. It beat. All right, wait, I think, that, okay, I think that's it. Let's see. It looks like it's locked up. You know, it might be because I don't have a terminating resistor on here. I think I've got one upstairs. Let me go upstairs and look. 
Thought I had a Terminator, but I can't find one. So I'm going to try something different. I'm going to just try to hook this up by itself or see what I can do. Just booting it off a of floppy and see if it'll see it. I wonder if this is a bootable disc. Those Macintosh and Apple disc drives from the 80s sound so sweet. Well, damn. Well, the goal was noble, but it failed. I will take this to the plus tomorrow, and we'll give it a shot there and uh, see what it can do. In the meantime, I'm going to make a backup copy of this disk utility disk. So, into part one. Hopefully, we'll have more success tomorrow.